everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. Today's video is on why you're not enjoying sex. Likely you have tapped on this video because, you know, maybe sex isn't living up to your expectations, sex isn't what you think you're supposed to be experiencing, you might be getting frustrated with your partner, or feeling super dissatisfied, or feeling like something may be wrong with you, which I have totally been there before. I honestly thought I was like broken for the longest time and I wasn't enjoying sex and I had no idea like what was wrong with me, why I wasn't enjoying it, why I wasn't having the same experience that I was seeing on movies and in TV. Um, or that my friends were saying that they were having. And so today I'm going to be talking about why that's likely happening for you, what I experienced and how I shifted it so that I learned actually how to enjoy sex um, and how to have better sex. Uh, and hopefully it can save you a lot of frustration and help you out with your sex journey. So the first reason why you may not be enjoying sex is because your lack of understanding of your own body. So if you don't know how to experience pleasure yourself in your body, it's really unlikely that someone else is going to know how to. And life in general likes to tell us that, you know, the answers to all of our problems are outside of us and if we buy this product or we do this thing or we get with this person, it's going to make us feel better. But truthfully, I think in every form of life, everything has to come from within. So you have to work through your own stuff and discover things on your own in order to experience pleasure and joy. And so the same goes for sex. So if you've never had an orgasm before or you've never experienced pleasure by yourself before, so through masturbation or solo sex experiences, it's really, really unlikely that you're gonna enjoy partnered sex because you're not gonna be able to communicate to your partner how you experience pleasure and your partner has no indicators that what they're doing feels pleasurable or not right so if you know how do you experience pleasure you can tell them those things and you can do those things during sex to get there if you don't it's like the blind leading the blind <laughs> so sex can become not enjoyable this happened to me for so many years in my youth when i was first starting to have sex i was like i don't understand like i'm doing all the same things that were shown to me on tv but I'm feeling absolutely zero sensation and zero pleasure right now. And my partner had no idea because they were just doing what felt good in their body. And if they were feeling pleasure, I think they were just assuming I was feeling pleasure. So yeah, it's really, really important before you have sex with someone else to masturbate and figure out yourself how you like to have an orgasm and how you experience pleasure. Because then you can actually do those things during partnered sex and explain them to your partner and then you're gonna both enjoy the experience because they can either help you have an orgasm that way or you know it's more of like a collaborative effort. And I have tons of videos about you know how to have more pleasurable sex and how to enjoy sex, so definitely check those out. Um, but often if you're a woman and you're not having pleasurable P and B sex, uh, it's usually due to lack of clit stimulation. Um, so definitely check out our other videos which can help you with that. And if you've never masturbated before, I also have a video on that, so definitely check that out as well. I'll leave them all down below. Okay, so the second reason why you might not be enjoying sex is lack of communication with your partner. So you might actually know how your body experiences pleasure, um, but you're not communicating that to your partner. Maybe you've been faking your orgasms for a long time. Maybe you don't feel comfortable communicating to them. Maybe they're not receptive to your communication. Whatever it is, there's a lack of communication and a block of communication, and you're not gonna enjoy sex unless you learn how to actually tell your partner what you need, what you want, and your partner is respecting you and prioritizing your needs and your wants. So saying things to your partner like, you know, it feels really good when you do this, or um, I actually, in order for me to orgasm, I need you to do that. You know, making it very clear and spelling it out to them exactly what you need in a positive and, you know, reaffirming way is going to help you enjoy sex more and is going to make sex a better experience for both you and your partner. You have to advocate for your pleasure um, and you have to express to them what you need and what you want. Okay, and the third reason why you may not be enjoying sex is because of any shame or guilt that you have around sex due to societal pressures, family pressures, religious pressures. Um, the world tells us so much about sex in our bodies and sex for the longest time was framed for the male gaze and we need to you know, unlearn those things and rework those things 
and drop the shame and guilt that we hold around sex because if we're doing this thing that makes us feel icky because someone told us we need to feel icky, we're never going to fully enjoy it. So this is going to take a lot of work and it takes a lot of time to like unlearn the beliefs. I still have to do that and I talk about sex online. I still have the shame creep up and it's like, ooh, like should I be saying this? Is this, you know, appropriate or right or what are people going to think about me? And then I realized like, oh no, these are just limiting beliefs that were passed down to me through the patriarchy to keep, you know, women controlled um, and in line. And we need to just like drop all that shame and drop all that guilt. Even when we say the word sex, we often think P and B sex, right? But sex could be with two women, it could be with two men, it could be with two people who are non-binary. Um, sex is whatever you want to make it. It could be oral sex, it could be, you know, just intimacy. Like, I want you to start to think about renaming sex away from P and B and more into like a collaborative, intimate moment between you and your partner, whoever you're having sex with, where you guys are both invoking pleasure in one another. And the more that we drop these labels and shame and guilt and ideas of what sex is and what it should be, the more we're going to enjoy it because it's going to make it wider and more inclusive for all. And that's like the inner work you have to do and I'm not saying it's easy. I struggle with this still so much. For example, for me, I need clitoral stimulation to have an orgasm. So P and B sex on its own isn't going to work for me. And I've had to change the way I have sex with my partner so that I have a lot of clitoral stimulation either prior to us having P and B sex if we are having P and B sex or you know that's a main focus during P and B sex for us. And that's how I've relabeled sex. I really thought about sex in my brain and that's my type of sex. But your type of sex could be different depending on your needs and your wants and your wishes. And it's something that you can work together with your partner to create this beautiful moment that should have no shame or guilt or any limiting beliefs that aren't yours on it. Sex is a powerful, positive thing. And if there's one thing that I hope everybody takes away from this video and this channel is that you shouldn't feel shame about it and you should be able to talk about it openly and you should be enjoying it and it should feel like something that you do because you want to do it and because it makes you feel good and it should be a positive part of your life. All right, so those are three reasons why you might not be enjoying sex and some tips and tricks that I have for changing our ideas around sex and learning how to enjoy it and making it a positive experience for us. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That really helps this channel. Also share it with a friend if you think it's going to be useful for them. And give us a follow at CBO Wellness on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining today's video and we'll see you for another video shortly.